for a special Christmas edition of Successful Farming. And joining me is Rob Sharkey, the shark farmer, came over from central Illinois, and you came just mostly for the tools, didn't you? I did. I, I appreciate you getting me a Successful Farming shirt, though. Oh, well, uh, we'll no, have that's to fine. That. It's okay. I mean, yeah. We can move on to the tools. I, I noticed saying, Lori and Natalina had one, but I didn't get one. That's. Oh. I guess I wasn't on the memo. And I have to, we'll get you a farm. It's fine. It's we'll fine. We'll get you a farm we'll move on. shirt instead. It's okay. Well, we'll just give you some tools. The tools look shiny. Like the grab handle. That's one of our little, this is called, uh -huh. this is from Hitchmate. Uh -huh. The grab handle actually goes on the back when the tailgate is down. It applies on the right or left hand side of the tailgate. It fits into the striker pin and the hinge on it. And then it basically gives you a handle to grab when you want to get up into the pickup bed. And the neat thing about it is that is adjustable to yeah. fit your truck. Now the only truck it doesn't fit into is a Toyota Tacoma. And on top of it, it even has a kind of a hard to reach handle so you can hook stuff and drag it out of the bed. This is looking better as I'm getting older. Yeah. I it, grunt a lot as I get up in the truck bed anymore. So Rob, our next idea mm -hmm. actually come from the construction a trade, they have these driver units. Now farmers are using impact wrenches. Mm -hmm. But the problem with impact wrenches is they can be a little heavy if you're using them all day long. Uh, this is a driver kit and what had happened was that in the world of power tools you had drills, mm -hmm. you had impact wrenches, mm -hmm. and this fits in between. And this is their Surge, Milwaukee's Surge driver right here. And the neat thing about this it weighs just two and a half pounds, yet puts out 400 inch pounds of torque and with about 3,400 impacts per second. Didn't mention the light yet either. And the light is pretty cool yeah. that way. If you're working in a small area, an engine cavity, you need to get in something to drive a smaller fastener where an impact wrench would not reach. Mm -hmm. The beauty of this one is that it'll do that. And then you have four different control speeds that you can pick to make it operate the way you need it. It's not gonna do the same amount of work that a imp half inch impact's gonna do. Those things are running 700 foot pounds and more. Yeah, but it's impact. so light. When it's you so break light. a lot of stuff, like other farmers, not like me, I mean, you don't wanna hold that all day. I could fix stuff all, all darn day with this. Now this is $253, just the tool itself without the battery and charger. Mm -hmm. And if you're already on a Milwaukee system or another cordless system, I always advise you, if you're looking for a new tool, just to get the tool alone if you've got the batteries already set up on that. Now this is something all mechanics will love. This is their extended reach ratchet drive. This will operate in both directions, but the neat thing about it is if you're getting into an engine cavity or you're doing a lot of work, look how far you can get down. It reaches out 11 and a half inches to get into tight spaces, but it delivers up to 55 foot-pounds of torque. So you can basically take most anything off an engine or a lot of work in a uh, mechanical setting this way. Again, impact wrench for the heavy duty stuff. This one's in between for a uh, ratcheting set. And it's always in the worst possible spot. You, these things would be so handy because it's a lot of times you can't get something like that in there. Right. Those engineers had designed the combines and the tractors, you know those guys? Yeah. So anyway, they offer it in quarter inch, three eighths and half inch drives mm -hmm. to fit your sockets that you have. And uh, this is the 3 8 inch extended reach, the tool only again, 229. Now, a couple years ago, we introduced farmers to the concept of using leaf blowers. And I mm. remember the first farmer, Lance Rezac in Kansas, I gave him a leaf blower to test and he looked at me like I gave him a toy. About three months later, I called him he had ordered three more for every combine and tractor they had because he found out the neat thing about leaf blowers, which have become much more powerful, is that they're great for cleaning out combines, the back of trucks, for if you've got some grain left on a truck bed, you, on a flat straight truck, you can clean that out. Guys have used them in their hog operations. I've even had guys tell me they'll clean out their shop and blow out the dust that way with them. 
And the reason why is the power this thing has. This puts out 430 cubic feet of air. That's the thing when you don't have where you can get your equipment into like where your air compressor is, yeah. these things are invaluable. Because yeah. you have to keep your combine blown off. Because yeah. that's just safety reasons. I mean, how many combines have we seen burn because they yeah. didn't get blown off? Well, and the thing is, is that I, I remember when I gave it to Lance, he said, well, we have compressed air on our service truck we take out. Mm -hmm. Then I asked him about that several months later after he got done with weed harvest. He said, we don't take the compressed air out anymore. This is powerful enough. I can clean out my engine compartment using it. Now, this is the 40 volt version. They use 220 volt uh, packs on that. And um, with the batteries and chargers, that's $179. Or again, the tool alone is $119. This one also uses the same batteries. They slide in from here that battery out that take both of them now you're looking at this and you're saying well that's not much of a power washer and it's not it actually generates 450 psi but here's the beauty of this thing you take this and basically this plugs in from this side you drop this into any water source it could be in a pond it could be a stock tank it could be just the water sitting in a clean tank anywhere that you have on your chemical truck or even if you're doing a light job inside the shop or around the house or any around the farmyard and you then suck the water out of this using the battery power and i was wondering at first that's kind of a consumer type of product but you can see it is heavy built and it's no lightweight and again, it's backed up with their three-year warranty. Well, a lot of times, like if we're in the shop, we don't want to fire up the big pressure washer because then it blows everything all over oh, the gosh, place. Yeah. So something like this, you know, to, to blow off the back of the combines, the hydraulics when you're working on those and you got the oil all over, I, I could see where we'd be using this all the time. Yeah. It's just a nice little thing that you can have. Anybody can borrow it. Yeah. Again, it makes it a lot more convenient. It looks cool. Yeah, and it kind of looks cool. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you're in a video game or something. Exactly. Imagine that. Yeah, the neat thing about this is that the tool alone, now again, this is $149, so if you can get it with the battery and charger for $229. The other cool thing that came out of Crescent is they have introduced a line of tool bags. These are designed. This is a tool bag. That's a tool bag. These are designed, as you can tell by the oomph, to be able to be loaded with tools, be able to put up with the grief that tool bags, tool boxes normally have. There's a lot of room in there. And there's a lot of room. Now this is their contractor bag, for example. That is their uh, tradesman. This is the tradesman open bag. They have mm -hmm. a closed bag. Plus they have these backpacks in a wide variety of different sizes. And the beauty of that is. They're ahead. stylish too. They're stylish. You could put the successful farming logo on there, Ooh. just like your free shirts. And Illinois orange. Oh, I forgot you went to Southern Illinois. Sorry about that. You, you don't have to rub that in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is, yeah, this would be nice. I mean, your kids could steal it for school and stuff. It is, It's if you could feel it, it's very heavy built. Yeah. This is not some normal backpack. And then they have also the clothes bags as well with Crescent Tools, and they just came out with this heavy duty line of tool bags. And the beauty of that is, is that you can get the tool bag that fits your needs. Now, for more information about all these tools and how to find the website to order them as well as to get their details, you can go to agriculture.com slash 2019 Christmas. Now, Rob's not leaving. He's gonna return after these brief messages with Lori Bedord. Oh, I like her. Well, you're gonna like her even more because you're gonna go over tech gadgets for Christmas. Finally working with a professional. There we are. <laughs> so please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.